We got the media team in there. Where the media Where the media team? We got content. TV's in the go. We got TV in the go. Wack. You looking for that fire clubhouse content? Well, you need to subscribe to the home and your clubhouse TV. Let's get to the content. That's a good one. He's already painted as witness, so ain't nothing he's saying gonna be used against Thug anyway. They'll be a damn fool to use it against him. They open themselves wide open for appeal. Been the block. So check it out. We got Wack 100 flaming up the prosecution in the Young Thug trial and says Lil Woody is tainted and not credible. Want to say thanks to WAC 100, the whole 100 side, the beehive, run the content. Been the block. If you were to, by this district attorney Hilton, if you admit to being involved in the killing of Donovan Thomas, you get prosecuted for that, right? You'll have him on redirect. Ever rule. Is that true? She said, if I do that, uh, plead the fifth, I'm going to go to jail. And when you say, if I do that or plead the fifth, if I admit to being involved in Donovan Thomas' murder, I go to jail, right? Huh? Been the block. Ooh, Woody is playing so dumb at this point. The prosecution has to be completely frustrated with him by now. Get this guy off the stand. Let's get another witness. Clubhouse TV, y'all. Let's get back to the content. Been the block. That's what she told you. That's what Miss Hilton told you. Am I correct? I didn't hear you. Okay. If you admit that you're involved in the murder of Donovan Thomas, you get prosecuted. You go to jail, right? Two things that send me to jail. One is... You admit to the murder of Donovan Thomas. Let, let him answer the question if he's going to let us know what his understanding is. What is your understanding? Go ahead. Well, when I was talking to them, tell the jury. I don't recall. I don't recall. <clears throat> okay, so what it is is today was the first day of cross examination of Lil Woody. And, um, there was a lot more before that clip that was played, but Brian Steele basically used a particular lie that Woody had told about something with a car and that um, Thug had gotten into a car with another girl at a particular incident, but there was a video that matched it and um, he made him watch it and there was actually, like, Thug wasn't even there. so. He was trying to say, oh, so you trying to tell us that Thug rented this car in his name, knowing that you was going to do this crime. And really, he, his cross-examination went different than the prosecution because he actually made um, Woody tell, like, the story. And he also implicated, like... Um, the different law enforcement um, departments that were like uh, cross, I mean, that were interrogating him over a period of time and he even threw in something with the feds, the federal, the feds you know, being a part of that so he's added some games that's it well, I mean, if you tell him, you tell him you cooperate, you cooperate and everybody gonna talk to you so one ain't got nothing to do with the other. The feds ain't charging. That don't mean either they gonna charge you or they not. So you got some camera footage that shows Doug not being there. But he been saying he been lying about everything anyway. So what's the significance of it? Well, that's pretty much the significance of it is when he was saying that he's a liar, basically. That proves the, he's a liar, right? Yeah, right. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, that just further support what he's been saying. But he's already tainted as witness, so ain't nothing he's saying gonna be used against Thug anyway. They'll be a damn fool to use it against him. They open themselves wide open for appeal. Like, basically, right. we still did the day trying to get him to talk about that, that meeting in the, in the chambers. And he was... And, Woody was almost about to crack, but then he realized, like, oh, she was trying to get him to say, yo, didn't they tell you that if you say you killed them, you go to jail? There's only, that, that part that he crosses in, he only crosses in for like two minutes. 
But in those two minutes, he he, he had him to the wall. Yeah, and but what that got to do with Thug? In the block. Uh, he's yeah. already, bro, he's already been said a hundred times. I lied about everything. He trying to get, he basically trying to admit to killing the boy. He what? He trying to get him to admit that he was trying to say that in the in the meeting with the, the judge in the uh, chambers. Okay, maybe I'm, I'm losing it. It don't matter what he saying; it's already discredited. Right. It don't matter what he say. He can come back and say everything is real right now. Would it mean something? I mean, bro, I, I, see, I'm just kind of, I don't beat dead horses. Then I already said a lot about everything, right? I don't, <laughs> I'm confused on why they still talking to me. I don't even get what the whole booty, like, I don't get it. I don't know what's left to prove. I don't know why they still spending so much time on dude. I think more people finding his testimony is like more amusing. He's like putting on theatrics, you know? Yeah, bro, we we're talking about a nigga that's trying to get through trial. Yeah, I feel you on that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <clears throat> the point is like, they're going to talk to the same nigga for a year? No, nah, but this is the first time that Brian Steele crossed, right? That's what I heard. Like when it, this this week is gonna be crucial for the whole thing because now it's going down in the records because Brian Steele, which is Young Thug's lawyer, is now cross-examining um, Woody. And dude is pretty much just saying he lied about everything, right? Yeah, and that's what the lawyer is trying to reaffirm so that the jurors be like, he's a, uh, he's not a credible witness or whatever. You know what I mean? That's his main tactic right now. He's pretty much gonna cross examine <clears throat> to solidify everything the nigga been screaming for the last one or two. That's my understanding. Yeah, the nigga been screaming. I lied about everything. I made everything up. It's like, who's the next witness? Yeah, what they listed, they be talking about they got why y'all focusing on this so much. You know, he told y'all some bullshit. Yeah, this is just what it's trip to be out. Hey, at the end, the Woody guy goes, Can I ask the judge a question? He goes, Let's take a recess. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think the defense, because of the, the, the foolishness he did um, with, with the prosecution, I didn't even think the defense would call him. That's what I'm shocked about. Why, like, he's just going to yeah, keep saying, like, I don't. I I would have left it right where it was at on the record. Yeah. I wouldn't even roll the dice that this nigga was going to get up there and change his story up on me. Yeah, once he was doing all that, I don't recall as a defense attorney, I wouldn't have called him. I think the jury already don't look at him as credible. No, I mean, yeah, he he, he been killed his credibility. Like, that, that's, it's over with. They, nigga, they convict this nigga on anything this nigga talking about. He coming back on appeal. I don't even know, but they must have gave a deal. I don't, I don't even know. The DA, I'm tripping on the DA must feel like a damn fool right now. So basically, it looked like the last question that she was asking him, what, the last question that still was asking him was, did you lie because they told you if you didn't tell them what they needed to know, you was going to go to jail. And then they, he froze, he asked, could he talk to the judge? And then they just, they went to recess. Got you. Never came back from it. Yeah, they never came back. So basically, still trying to make it, trying to make the see the the, ju the jury to say, look, the only reason he lied because they made a promise to him if he didn't tell them what they wanted him to tell them, he was going to jail. Oh, he just started telling them whatever. Yeah, he. He started do, go, doing his I don't recall stuff and, you know, but still was trying to basically establish that Woody made up all of this stuff because the district attorney was telling him to say this basically to frame um, Young Thug. Yeah, I'm just tripping on why they putting like, some screaming. Are you lying about everything for a month? Woody, it, this is a little different because it's like the nigga then said a million different times in 10 different languages. 
<clears throat> I lied and made everything up. Now, I wonder if it's somewhere in there where they say, if we can figure out you lied, we can lock your ass up. It gotta be, bro. Well, that was one of the things that Brian Steele said, that he wanted um, Woody to explain what they said could happen to him in that secret meeting. And that was the thing that he wanted to be brought out. And he's getting to, if he don't tell them what they want to hear, they're going to lock him up. Right. So all the charges they had this nigga on, because this nigga didn't admit the murders and all kinds of Yep. They can't do nothing to him. Unless he slips up and says something that they don't know about. So maybe that's the DA's angle. Is the is the DA allowed to lie to you like about what your punishment would be if you don't tell the truth or whatever it is? Like that's what he was uh, insinuating. Well, that's, that's why your attorney is in. Right, but Alex's yeah. question was because Brian Steele made it seem like whatever they told him about being able to get locked up for not getting on the stand and saying whatever it was was because they was trying to make him think he could get locked up even with the immunity deal that he had. That don't make sense. Oh, you're talking about if he don't say what he say, we can still lock you up. Yep. Yeah, I wonder what they doing with that damn judge. And they lied to him saying he could he'll get uh, X amount of time with no chance of parole, even though they don't parole from the feds. Something like that. They said that too. Who don't parole from the feds? Isn't that what they said, Sunshine? Like they asked him. Um, yeah. So so the, so okay. So the way they were pressuring him in that supposedly secret meeting with the judge, the two things they told him was that. Um, you can get it if you don't do what you're supposed to be doing that you agreed to do with this immunity deal we can lock you up and then because the fed the, you know that they, they had like all kinds of law enforcement in on it which happened to be one of the feds and if you end up getting arrested on fed time you're going to do all your time um you're going to be 50 years old by the time you get out you know they they did them like that so that's what brian still wanted to say like oh they told you this um well they probably were lying you... to him depending on how old is it and how much time are you looking at you do 85 percent of them fed so you talking about murders and all kinds of things that shit carry life you know what i'm saying them cases carry life right but brian still was trying to he was alluding to oh well they should not have said that to you because you have immunity you know what i'm saying well it's a good thing they said that to him and worked out in their favor i'm saying that well you know i believe i don't you know i don't believe the nigga was lying when he was talking he was saying he lying now I don't know. He might have lied about some but that's, that's helping him if he did start lying. We're going to give you 50 years and nigga just start saying anything. But it's, it's just, I can't. I mean, I don't know if it's just Georgia state law. I can't see the law being that, that vulnerable to where a nigga can just tell you a lie and you give him that deal and then he come back and admit the line and that deal ain't take, snatched off the table. That's, that's what, what I would that's what I would think what would happen. That's what still now, and you can see Now you. whack would it make a difference if the law enforcement and all the whole DA system if they are corrupt and they got well, something being, to hide? Well being corrupt got to do with it. <laughs> Well, well that's what I'm just wondering. You, Yo, all right, we're going to give you this deal, but you got to tell the truth. Let's find out you're lying. Take something from it. Add something to it. Right? Boom, 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 boom. Deal's off the table. Well, I'm yeah. saying what the corrupt pockets, working? do they have something to hide? I mean, what to hide? What they got to hide? He already didn't tell them about the judge's chambers 
uh, meetings. What more you got to hide? What more you think law enforcement is doing? The, 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 the court system is doing with a nigga like this? I don't know. It's just like they keep on. There was a, a few things over the course of the trial that they were saying that, that you know, with the connection to like the the judges, the judges um, clerk was messing with somebody that was connected. It was just a lot of different things. I don't Long know. The judge said that. They ain't done nobody found out. She said, Mom, whatever, whatever, had a relationship with that, whatever. So, no, it's confidential. They got to do with him. That has nothing to do with do with this witness. I just I don't know, bro. That system is that wide open. That's just wide open. So a nigga used to tell you a bunch of lies, get a muni deal, and then come back and tell you I, everything I told you was a lie and this deal still on the table. That's what's he up. always stipulations to that immunity are you really puzzled or can you come up with something that you I'm think puzzled. it might be uh, hey, I, hey I mean I just know that when they give you them type of deals like it's stipulations it gotta be stipulations in there that says if the information you told us comes out that it's false or whatever whatever the deal's off the table Wait, wait, if you you're lying to us, the deal Jimmy Hinspin went through that. The, that's usually what they would do. But the way Bill trying to it is the only the only stipulations is for him not to say the he, him not to say he did it in the plea the fifth. That's, that's the only thing he can't say up there. That's the only two things that'll send him to jail. That's but that's what I'm saying. It is it, nothing about that protecting the the DA side. Him saying he did it doesn't get them um, a conviction because he got immunity, right? He got immunity. And plead, him not pleading the fifth, he's saying, I'm just telling lies, right? So it, it's like nothing about that makes sense. As the board just said on, when he just put his little three minute cross, he said, What two stipulations did they tell you to send you to jail? What he was about to answer it, he kept trying to. Bill kept trying to put in a question. The judge told him, simplify it for him. Dude was about to start talking. And then the DA objected. And then that's when he's like, Judge, I need to talk to you. And he said, give him a reset. Bill basically was trying to get him to say, if you plead, if you'd have pled the fifth or said you murdered dude, that's the only two things they told you would send you to death. Well, he said he killed the mother. He didn't say it on the stand. Bush, the one gun the other half. He was a little demon, man, whoever, man. What it was? He even said about the other daddy. He's admitting everything. I don't know. I, I mean, I hate to say it. just looked like... Man, you ain't the only one that can't figure out what they doing because everybody, every every day is something new. Yeah, I believe that um <clears throat> that head DA, the black chick, all them, I think, I believe this case is going to get thrown out on the state level. I think they're going to fire all them people, the judge and the DA, the head DA. I think the feds going to pick it up and book him on them silences to find out the time of his arrest. But did you see the content with, with uh, her opponent, what her opponent said about the YSL? The Republican, uh, you know, she up for re-election. So she had put a put an article in their newspaper stating that the YSL trial... Yeah, she's she just trying to get the black vote. Yeah, everybody trying to get, try get the re-election, I mean, get the election. But the fact that you put that out there, I'm willing to drop the case the minute y'all vote for me. Crazy. Yeah, she's just trying to get the black vote. She said she's going to throw the case out. But her throwing the case out still don't mean the feds ain't going to charge. No, they still got them, as you say, still got them silencers. They got them silencers. And as the board, with the board for the day, them, them, that was a ghost gun. But guns, automatic fire, 60 months. No, that's a ghost gun. Silence is a whole other thing. Yeah, there's separate charges. Let me see. A whole other separate charge. Hey, yeah. that's good.
They're acting like this man is a star witness. It's like, how many more witnesses do y'all have that can connect the dots? Because this seemed like a circus. No, the, what I'm saying is, that's what I mean. Act like they ain't got no more witnesses. It's like they, they hanging their hat on this dude. It's like... They, they, yeah, just, remember they had, they about they had an extra 100, 200 witnesses. They had to cut it down. Yeah, don't they got like 300 witnesses or something? Yeah, but I mean, what are those 300 witnesses too? It looked like a lot of it is for reach. Right. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. Unless your whole block then turned on you, what the fuck get 300 witnesses from? Right. That's crazy work. They're part, they're part just saying that to make a, make the public think that there's actually a case for dragging the shit out. Yeah, that's that's some crazy shit. What is this? That's like absurd. I know that jury tired of hearing that shit. The trial hundred and some odd days, and Woody been up there damn over like damn near over a month. I think I know one thing. I I know they happy they not sequestered. Could you imagine being confined until they finish this case? Like what? That's oh, that'd crazy. be crazy. <laughs> what you mean? You know how they sequester the, the juror, juries, and. Uh, yeah, I was they saying. Don't they don't want to go home. They got to stay there. Yeah, could you imagine no, the if jury, they did the that jury. for this case? No, the, the, they not they not doing that to the jury? No. Oh, it's that's a different right. violation. It's a different what? It's a violation. Violation? What are you talking about? Oh, suppression the jury. What? You can file a motion that didn't suppression the jury. Yeah, what you mean violation? Now, what you, I think you might have used the wrong word. Be a trial error. You looking for a trial error? Maybe. What? What? Where do you get the word violation for though? What? what that? That. be like a violation like in the trial if you ask to a Christian the juror and they not a Christian because they could like prejudice the case they could people be talking about it or they can look at it on TV but they're not the Christian so what are you talking about yeah but she said they didn't a Christian that's our point they're not they, they don't they get to leave kind of prejudice so like that's his violation of his trial rights though how's it a violation of his trial rights if the, if the rights of his trial is already stipulated before trial y'all gotta stop throwing shit in shit if the rights of his jury is already stipulated before trial how's a violation of his rights both sides have to agree to everything that's gonna happen before a trial starts. Hey, y'all see what you're saying? Yeah, they, they, they gotta agree, you can't. All right, well, we're starting trial and now we're gonna do this. Right, everything, they didn't went over everything and then picked the jurors. They're gonna pick the stipulations of the jury and pick the question if they're not. And it went over all this. Yeah, this shit's. Uh, they tell them not to. They tell them not to look at. They tell them not to look at the news, but you know they can't. Oh, man, man. Still not watching this stuff. Yeah. Or only looking way, at the only way they do that is to keep them away from 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 everything. Right, like I OJ. Have no can. idea. Yeah, I had no idea that they would let these go home every day. The case is high profile enough where they should be not able to go home, you know? Yeah, that's... Yeah, so. That is crazy. But as it look like right now, everything they looking at, it'll be in thug favor anyway. You got niggas talking about their line. Yeah, that's in thug favor. Oh shit crazy right here, boy. So if the feds pick up his case, let's assume the state uh, drops the RICO mistrial, whatever the feds, feds pick it up. Feds don't charge him with something totally different. They're going to pick it up based upon the machine guns and silencers or whatever else they found at the time they were serving that arrest. 
Will he be able? Will Rico, you think the they're thing? gonna pick at Rico up right now? Well, they're not putting a Rico. That nigga, they was gonna Rico him. They had to Rico him out the gate. That's why the state Rico him, because the feds wasn't gonna Rico him. So he'll get some time served then, when after all said and done. I mean, you get some time served, but nigga, you looking at twenty years, you know. Right about that. Twenty years, twenty years. You still gonna do about 17, 18 off that money. So. All right. He only got how many does he have down two? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Either way it goes, it's game over. It's game over either way it go. Damn. I think I think that's for the state. Well, I, I, it was a reach. I mean, I, I think they thought with this nigga right here, they didn't see this coming. So they're judge, scrambling a little man, bit. Yeah, when that judge got to playing them games in that judge's chambers with them meetings and they got out, that tainted it. But the fact they looking crazy right now, bro. I'm willing to see. I I, I think they're gonna throw the whole state Rico out and they go fire all them people. That judge, that lady, the head DA, they're gonna get rid of all them people. I believe the feds going to come in and pick up and do whatever it is they're going to do with, the, um, with what they found in silencers and all that shit. I don't think the it, feds are going to touch. I, I know they not going to touch none of this shit. Rico-wise, right? Hell no. They not touching that. It does look like Fannie Willis is just trying to drag this out for the election, for her election. Because she's up for a re-election, I think. That's a district yeah. attorney lady. Yeah, it ain't a good look for her, though. Yeah, I was just about to say it ain't a good look. Now it ain't, but you know, I think promoted. at first it's yeah. Like if she would have won this case, a slam dunk on this case and the Trump case, oh, she would have been popping her collar. What happened with the Trump case? The they they still, they haven't did anything else with that. I think the it was the Supreme Court just ruled that he can't be charged with nothing, right? I thought they dropped the charges. I thought it was on pause after they got rid of that DA. Not the DA, but the, the, the head attorney. And they paused it after they got rid of him. Oh, it's different. I, think they, I don't know. I think they prolonging. They beating a dead horse. Because there's nothing that dude could say that's going to change it today. He didn't said enough to, to taint the case on the DA side. And he can double back and say, um, no, I just lied about lying. And it ain't going to stand up in court. So either way it go, I just don't understand why they still, what the, like, it leads me to believe this is they star of my witness, man. Like, and if it is, it's over with. He's not a star witness anymore. But I already called some other witnesses to the stand. It's not credible. That's what I'm saying. I feel like they had to call something else. If they knew they had something else to sway them to the jury, right? They had to call them by now. Hey, but we gonna see. I know if we here another month, nigga, it's like, yo, what the, they might need to go down there and it, 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 it's call strike. What y'all doing? That's what they missing right now, Thug. That's what he need to spend his money. He need to have his fans down there on strike under that court building. Straight up. Get the attention of the news. They need to be talking. He, that, that's what needs to happen right now. He need to start his propaganda. Because it's like this. The nigga Woody, every time he get out, I know the DA got to be mad. The nigga flashing money. I'm doing shows. I'm doing interviews. I'm doing this. I'm doing all because of this. And I know they feel like, know they feel like hey, he's a damn fool because, you know, they, they ain't going to stop till they get him. He's eventually going to jail. They're going to serve that nigga the first thing he do. They're going to get that nigga the max. Behind a traffic ticket. He need to sit down somewhere, but he ain't he ain't got nobody around. He ain't smart. You see that nigga didn't even know what three plus two was. 
He can't be that stupid, boy. He slow as the. It's an act. They going for him, no? So would the um when you said do the strike, would it be based on him not getting a fair trial? What, what do you think? All thinking? that. I mean, you got him. Okay, y'all, you got him. And he didn't lie about everything. They didn't drop the other murder case because of the niggas didn't have the right search warrant when they supposed to have a search warrant. It's just y'all won't give him a bail. Y'all won't give him this. Y'all, this is going on. This is going on. That's where he need to spend his money. That nigga need to organize. It should be, it should be three, four hundred people, five hundred people in front of that court building every day. See, when you start to get the attention on the news and they get to doing that kind of shit, that puts pressure on them people in there. Clubhouse, Clubhouse TV. TV. Clubhouse, Clubhouse TV. Clubhouse, Clubhouse TV. TV. So, y'all heard the content about Lil Woody, also known as Kenneth Copeland. He's definitely considered a tainted witness in the context of the YSL Rico case. So, in legal terms, a tainted witness is someone whose credibility is in question due to various factors, such as prior criminal activity inconsistent statements or motives that may affect their testimony's reliability. Blue Woody's involvement as a witness have been controversial. Many in the community and some legal experts view his testimony with skepticism, believing that his motivations or past actions could undermine the evidence he provides. This label can damage his reputation both legally and socially, especially in cases involving gangs or organized crime. In informal street culture, the term tainted is also used to describe someone who is seen as a snitch or informant. This label can have serious consequences, including social ostracism and legal repercussions. So here in the content, you're hearing WAC 100 is saying that Lil Woody is not credible. The prosecution says they had over 300 witnesses, but why is Lil Woody still on the stand when they know that he's lying and he's been on the stand for over a month? WAC 100 also says that Young Thug needs to spend his money on other things to get him out of this case. He says that his fans should be in front of the courthouse screaming for his freedom. Once they do that, the news will catch more light. In my opinion, Lil Woody is not dumb at all. He is simply playing the role because he knows he snitched on Young Thug and now he's trying to cover it up by saying that the prosecution and the defense is pressuring him into saying what he said about Lil Woody. I've seen him on other shows and he does not act that way when he's on the stand in the courtroom. Therefore, I know that he's playing a dangerous game and Thug knows what's going on. So I'll be interested to see what will happen to Lil Woody. Will he end up missing off the streets? Will he get jail time? Or is this a whole play between him and Thug and they will be cool after this is all over? Let me know what you guys think about this content in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe hit that notification bell so you're always up to date when I drop new content. Subscribe to the media team, Clubhouse TV, Ray Give TV, Clubhouse Shenanigans, and the Ruminati Network. As always, I certainly appreciate y'all checking out Clubhouse TV, and I'll see y'all on the next drop. I'm out, y'all. Peace.